hi everyone and welcome to another vlog this one is slightly different but one that you've all been waiting for and asking for for a while now yeah it's one of the topics that seems to be coming up um, on all of the different forums that we're part of and all the different Facebook groups we're part of so we figured we would do our own little video just to discuss that subject and our experience of what we did and why we did it yeah so what we're going to be discussing today is, as you've probably seen from the thumbnail and the title, is um, Disney Vacation Club, or DVC for short. Um, our experience of it, what we have, um, what our thoughts are on the whole process, and why people should and shouldn't go for yeah. it, really. I think, it, again, it comes down to personal preference, but we'll get and into that a bit later This on. is going to be a very honest video mm -hmm. um, from our opinion. Obviously, yeah. this is not going to suit everybody, and you may just be coming to this video because you're looking at a Disney Vacation Club and looking at different options, especially because we are based in the UK. So we yeah. wanted to give our thoughts on the UK because there isn't that much information out there for the UK-based um, group. Yeah, the, the UK-based yeah. Disney lovers. Yeah, it's tricky. Um, so, yeah, that's why we're coming to you today. So, um, please enjoy it. So welcome to all of you. We are the Finlay Adventure, for those of you who don't know us already. My name is Jake. And I'm Donna. We are a married couple from Oxfordshire. Um, we're actually new to the vlogging game. We're trying to vlog all things life, all things love, all things fun. Yeah, um, but just we... capture things on camera to make memories for us and our family. Yeah, and as you can see from t-shirts and all of this paraphernalia we are lovers of disney um which is kind of why we got into the vlogging game i guess initially in the first place so why should you hear from us this random couple from oxfordshire about disney and dvcs and all of this jazz yeah um but it's because we touched on we are big fans i myself have been to florida four times as a child i went in 95 97 99 2001 and then we went for our honeymoon in 2016 mm -hmm. with our oldest daughter then. And you've been... I went... Times? Yeah, I've been three times. I went 99, 2000 and 2006. Yeah, so between us we've racked up some... And that was to hours. Florida. That was to Florida. Solely <laughs> Florida and that entire region with a focus on Disney, right? Yeah. So, yeah, we've got some experience with the whole Disney game. Um, and around that we have done villas... Yes. Staying outside the park. Yeah, that's really important to this. We have stayed in villas, hotels. I've been all around Florida as well. Um, I stayed and on, on site, site on, in, in Disney um, Disney theme resorts. And this is probably where we're going to go with this um, this vlog. Yeah, because we've got experience in all of them. We feel we can give you guys a bit of um, a bit of input, a bit of insider knowledge as yeah. to as to what you should be looking for or what you should be doing, depending on what's more comfortable for you. Yeah. Um, yeah, so you might as well crack on with it. Yeah. So, what is a DVC? Oh, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> now, as many of you know, if you're already here, you know roughly what a DVC is and things like that. But if you are brand new to the game, a brief description is a Disney Vacation Club is a Disney timeshare scheme, effectively. You basically buy points through Disney, and those points allow you to stay at selected Disney resorts um, for a set period of time, depending on the amount of points you have. Um, and those points will be available to you every year on a certain on a certain month, yeah. depending on how you brought it and when you brought it. Um, yeah, that's a basic. I yeah. think. Do I say anything else to that? I don't think I do. No, just it is Disney. So you would be staying in a Disney resort if you own, owned a yeah. Disney Vacation Club. You are staying on resort property, and they are deluxe properties. Yes, I will actually link below, I think, DVC's own video about what a DVC is, just so you newbies yeah. can go and take a look if you don't know already. That's probably the best thing to do, isn't it? Yeah. So let's just do that. Yeah. Um, so that's basically what a DVC is. Um, so I guess we should probably start as well as to where we heard about DVCs first. Yeah. When was your first recollection of hearing about a DVC? Your sister. It probably was my sister, actually. It right. was, your yeah. sister. Yeah. Um, so... We we heard the term DVC yeah. and your sister explained a little bit about it. Like you could stay in a studio, so you've got your own kitchenette and you mm -hmm. can stay certain times. And 
you have a certain amount of points, but we didn't really understand it. And no, it, we didn't, no. <clears throat> and we kept seeing it, didn't we? When we got to Florida, this was in 2016 when we went for our honeymoon. Yeah, we got there. We saw it everywhere. We were staying in Port Orleans Riverside, which was a Disney resort. Mm -hmm. um, it was and everywhere. Literally on all the resorts, even Disney Springs, DVC, DVC, come here, talk DVC. And we were like, okay. <laughs> I think, okay, well, maybe as maybe. it's everywhere, maybe we should take a little look. But then at the same time, we knew it was kind of like a timeshare. Mm. So we thought we didn't want to be pressured into that kind of situation. You know, you're not, but those of you who've been on the timeshare meeting before, you know kind of how in your face they yep. are. And, and high pressure cell situations, all that stuff. So we didn't really want to be in that. Yeah, we were warned off it a hell of a lot. Um, yeah. weren't we and even my grandparents I remember the first time I went we were walking through Kissimmee and there was a booth with uh, free tickets to SeaWorld if you <laughs> uh, sign this piece of paper and come on a tour of this hotel and I remember my grandpa saying just walk on Donna just walk on yeah. I'm thinking what is he on about and then you start to understand as you get older that they are like horrific places where you get locked in and they pressure you for hours and they talk about your income and yeah. you aren't getting out of there until you buy it. You think, surely <clears throat> Disney can't be like that, but you still have No, you're still kind of, of a bit nervous of that they might. That, that, pre -con that misconception yeah. almost of, of that. Um, but we, we walked past it a few times, didn't we, these different booths, and we were in Epcot one day. As you're walking towards World Showcase, on the right hand side there was the booth. And the guy there asked us and said, do you know anything about DVC? We said, not really, we know bits and bobs. He said, well, hey, come to our free thing. We're like, oh, you know what? We, we're on a really tight schedule. All of our fast passes are booked. All of our dining's booked. We don't really have much time for that. Like, it's probably, we're probably not going to fit and it And he in. gave Matilda loads of stickers. I remember that. Like, he, he was like, yeah. loads of stickers just, just to kind of draw us over, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. She was like, oh, stickers. We're like, no, no, stick back, stick back. Um, but yeah, he said, you know what? He said, I get it. You've got a really tight schedule. What we'll do is... We'll pick a date, you go and have your breakfast or whatever it is you're doing. We will then pick you up from that destination, take you to Saratoga Springs where you can have your initial meeting and all this stuff. Um, we'll then drop you anywhere you want to in the resort afterwards, any park, any pool, wherever Right you up go. to the front gate, right wasn't it? The they said, gate. we'll get you right to the front we'll get you gate. There. gate. And also for coming, we'll give you, it was, how much was it? It was $50 each vouchers and it was three fast passes each. And we did it for the fast passes, really. Yeah, we thought, well, you know what, fast passes are few and far between, plus those gift vouchers are, are pretty cool. You know what, what's... So it's was $100, basically, for walking yeah. in, and free ice cream. So we did get ice cream, and that's pretty cool. Yeah. So we thought, you know what, actually, let's just do it for a couple of hours, what's the worst that can happen? Yeah. Um, so yeah, we went into this place, didn't we? Went to Saratoga, it was a lovely place. Oh my goodness me. Um, they set up a nice breakfast and everything for you, a nice <laughs> presentation, and then they took us into a room with a lovely sales rep and they told us all about it and it was amazing now it was like what dreams are made of if yeah. you love disney and you love staying on resort and you love everything disney this was like oh my goodness like this is like the pot like of they, gold they at the end of the up, rainbow they? yeah they, like, yeah it was just amazing yeah it was so good um, <clears throat> and our sales lady was lovely and we were just in awe of it all, weren't we? We were completely yeah, in awe of it. And I will say, like, a, a, just to say now, like, even if you don't buy in the future, just go for that yeah. consultation because it's, it's, it, it is quite nice to actually get out of the parks for a couple of hours. But those fast passes and the vouchers, it's all worth it. Like, and actually, the experience and getting to know what goes on around the resorts that you probably don't know about, especially yeah. in the deluxe resorts, and how you get treated and it's just nice to know and also because matilda was four at the time she couldn't actually come into the meeting with us so she <laughs> actually went into the mickey mouse clubhouse um day nursery yeah oh my goodness she loved it she didn't want to leave love it, yeah. yeah and they were just really lovely gave her cookies milk they were really tentative towards her and we had no problems with them watching her while we did it as well it was really really no, nice it was really secure we felt really, really relaxed didn't yeah we? yeah and I will say, like, it wasn't at all like a high press situation, was it? Like, they no. didn't pressure anything. Um, I think the, the most salesy thing they said was, after telling us everything, all the details, they were like, so how many points do you want to buy? And they asked it straight like that, and we were like, well, actually... We can't. We, we, we can't really afford that right now. So I think at the time, they were selling... How much was a point? I think at the time, points were like $135 a point. 
but they were doing an incentive so if you bought 50 uh yeah 50 points they gave you um oh, yeah. 25 points free didn't they it, yeah um just <clears throat> to get you to buy into it at the time we did not have that sort of money we just spent out on our honeymoon and as much as we would love to have bought a mm -hmm. dvc from them snap the hand off and enjoy the rest of our lives we weren't gonna we were not gonna get into debt and that's that one thing we could put ourselves and that in. is definitely yeah. one thing i would warn you if you are not in a financial situation where you think you're going to be able to buy especially direct because they do lots of different plans you can get loans there's loads of ways of doing yeah, it but the apr is really but yeah, high i think you just need to go in it with your eyes wide open and, and look at your finances and see exactly how much money you've got and this is why we're doing this video because we actually went down the resale route yeah because i i think that actually just to bolt onto that at the end i think that what they were trying to offer us and what we said we'd ideally like I think it cost in the region of somewhere like £25,000, like it was a lot of money. What was it, $25,000? No, it was tw it, I think it was like $27,000, $28,000. Yeah, it, it was a lot of money. It was £25,000, if I remember rightly. Yeah, it was a lot of money, so we said, you know, there and then, you know what, it's We were amazing. honest, like, we were lovely, we she was really, lovely, really wasn't she? We said, you know what, actually, if we were to go every single year for yeah. so many many years it would be amazing and we'd totally do it but we said you know we just can't afford that right now so i think for some people who have that money like you know i think right there and then they'll probably snap their hand off but it oh, really gotcha. for us and i think every if, as donna said if you have unsure like don't do yeah, it yeah don't do it if you it's if you are thinking about it and you have fine you know your finances aren't spot on <laughs> and you would need to get a loan yeah. or it would be a payment that comes out of your account um, I would I would really err on the side of caution with that, especially yeah. direct twenty five thousand pounds. And when we go on to talk about why we went down the resale route, I think you'll be surprised. Mm -hmm. Definitely. So after coming away and being dropped off at uh, Magic Kingdom because we had a reservation for Beauty and the Beast, um, and we <laughs> yeah. we Sorry. sat reflecting. Yeah, reflecting. We sat at that dinner table and were like oh my goodness what have they done they opened up blinking a whole new world like literally, literally pandora's box we were like oh we were like how can we do this how can we save how can we go about getting a disney vacation club because we knew for our family this was going to be the way forward this was going to be for us a way of getting to disney mm -hmm. time and time again if you are not going to go to disney world or yeah let's just if you're yeah. not going to go to disney world more than three times for the rest of your life then there really is no point and you can just turn off this video now yeah. <laughs> but let's just say actually that contract as well they offered us before was for 66 years yeah 66 years and those contracts were willable so you can will them to your kids you know so i mean even when you get too old and infirm to go they can still enjoy that so it is an investment if you want to look at it that way um so as Donna said we thought well, how can we be part of that and give that yeah. gift to our kids and keep going and see potentially even our grandkids. Yeah, like taking our grandchildren. That's like... special, isn't it? Like that's something we wanted to make sure we could do. And with the price of Disney going up, you know, it just kind of kind of made sense to us. Yeah. Um, so, so you we had. Looking, didn't you? So we had a really amazing holiday, didn't huh. we? It was amazing. Yeah. We did uh, three weeks. We did twenty-one days. Port Orleans Riverside. Yeah. Dining plan. Um, we did you know, we did it all like it was just incredible wasn't it and we got so much Disney magic and it was just Everything was we could have ever crazy three weeks wasn't it? Yeah, it was just Brilliant. everything we could have ever yeah. dreamt of. I spent my 30th birthday there um, <laughs> It was just really lovely. So coming home we were like Like where are we gonna find this money? How are we gonna do it? And I stumbled upon resale mm. And I was like Jake you can actually buy contracts from other people um and the cost is significantly reduced so yeah so those of you who don't know what resale is if you have a contract you've brought from disney and you no longer want it you can then put that up for sale yourself and then people can buy that off of you after some caveats but we'll get into we'll that get now. into that yeah. so we thought right well actually jake made the decision that we were not going to go back to disney world florida 
until 2021. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I was freaking out. I, I know, but considering that was 2016, five years is a long time, but I thought, you know what? I went to Florida in 97 for the 25th anniversary, and I thought it'd be really cool to go again for the 50th, so I really want to be there for that. So I thought, okay, that's the goal. I want to go in 2021 just to experience that, get the cool merch, say that I was there again, and do it all that way. Um, also, it will be so different. Guardians yeah. of the Galaxy wasn't there. Toy Story Land wasn't there. Um, Pandora wasn't yeah, there. Yeah, we didn't even see that, did we? Animal Kingdom. No, like, Star Wars, like, Galaxy's Edge, none of that's been... None of, I haven't seen any of that yet. And being a massive Star Wars fan, I've got to... Go Tron's going to be there. Tron will be there. The new Ratatouille ride's going to be Epcot there. Epcot will look completely oh, yeah. different to anything I've ever seen before. So, so at that point, I was like, oh, I really don't think I can't go back to Disney. Like, this is torture. <laughs> so we have had a couple of Disneyland Paris trips in between. Um, that's another video. Vlogs altogether. on them to come. Yeah, yeah vlogs yeah. on those to come. Um, so, yeah, it, it was hard for me to get my head around the fact that we weren't going to go back for five years. And, mm -hmm. oh, my goodness, we are in 2020. Mm -hmm. And next year we're going back. Next year, baby. But we're going back as Disney Vacation Club members. Going home. <laughs> Welcome home. <laughs> Welcome home. <laughs> but, okay, so here, here was the thing, right? When we went in 2016 for our honeymoon. When we booked that trip through Virgin, we thought, okay, let's go for three weeks. We can do it on a shoestring budget. Let's see what we can do. We had Matilda with us. She was quite small. So we thought, hey, let's stay in a Disney resort. Let's go and do something that she really likes. We thought, okay, art of animation. Let's try that. See what we can do for three weeks. See what we can get, how much it's going to cost us. And we'll do it that way. As a honeymoon, we thought, you know, once in a lifetime, yeah, let's just splash, splash out, out a little bit. Let's just do it. <clears throat> um, we went to a Virgin store and they, I think all in is about, was it seven and a half? It was seven and a half thousand. Seven and a half thousand all in for this trip. This was flights, this was accommodation at Disney Resort for three weeks, this was the dining plan. Park this tickets. This was park tickets. The Universal Sea World. It was everything. It, it was, was everything. So good. 21 was day passes for Disney. And they actually said to us when we got there, there was a deal on. So actually Art of Animation was more expensive at that time than Port Orleans Riverside. So she said just upgrade to that. So we went to a moderate resort instead. Yeah. And it was, again, I, I stayed at Port Orleans French Quarter back in 95, back when it was just um, Port Orleans and Riverside was Dixie Landings. Yeah. Um, so to go back to the Port Orleans area was quite special for me. Uh, and I'd never stayed on resort, so this is all his fault, may I add, that we're in this situation now. Yeah, it is my fault. I was quite happy to stay in Kissimmee in Main Gate. Yeah, but either way, Benavista. great deal. Great deal, seven and a half grand. Let's try and replicate that. Do you think anybody out there could do that deal again for 2021? Even 2020, we looked. Nobody could do anything even close to that. We were looking at 11,000, 12,000. We got, so we went to Virgin and they quoted us 12,000 yep. for the same deal. Yep. Port Orleans Riverside, dining plan, 21 days. All, it, literally everything the same they wanted 12,000 and actually they laughed at us when we said how much we paid in 2016 and said the price is just said, gonna yeah it's not gonna happen and they said it's just gonna keep going up and up and up so we were like oh my goodness now 2021 like we've got to find yeah 12,000 and actually are we going to be able to find 13 14,000 in three years time when we want to go back because we keep wanting to go back This isn't just a once-in-a-lifetime holiday. This is something we want to experience yeah, And we know I for a it. fact as you said earlier on we're gonna keep wanting to go back Every two every three years for a long time and that's if you calculate that all together. It's a lot of money um, It's crazy. We've done the calculations. We have done the calculations. I looked at it myself I've, I've created a little chart basically I'll go into more detail in another video if people want me to do so, but based on the rate of inflation from 2016 going to 20, in the 20s, 30s, I went all the way up to see what it's going to look like, and yeah, you're looking at paying a lot of money. Um, I can insert a graphic right now to show you guys how expensive it could be. Um, so as you can see, the very top of that scale is pretty expensive. Um, so we thought actually maybe we should instead cost up a 
DVC, maybe right now is the time, maybe it is actually worth it, because we're mm. going to be spending all that money in the future anyway. We, we know we're going to want to go back, we know we're going to want to stay in a, in, a, in a deluxe resort because we've been spoiled before. Yeah, so once you yeah. st once you stay in a Disney resort, you've got all of the uh, transport right on your doorstep. You don't have to worry about um, going to the transportation centre and getting out to a, a bus outside of the park. Like it just yeah, you the don't resort, need to hire just, a car. You yeah. don't need to pay for parking because of that. I mean, you can do, and that gives you a certain element of freedom. But when you've got small kids and things, sometimes it can be a bit of a hassle. So yeah, there's just there's many benefits to staying in a Disney resort that we really enjoy. It isn't for everyone, we know that, no, but yeah. for us it actually really worked quite well and as I said we were spoiled, we want more of it, Yeah. which is a pain. <laughs> um, so yeah, we looked really at DBC and again buying direct, it seems a little bit too much, but resale, that's another story. Yes. So after a lot of conversation and um, to and fro, weren't we, with yeah. what we were going to do, we decided to research resale companies that would give us the best deal and the process of buying resale because it is slightly different to buying direct. There are things that you don't get and benefits that you don't get, but if you're in the UK specifically, I we as a family don't need those benefits and felt that the cost outweighed the benefits didn't it Completely, so the, yeah. the, the the price the cost saving then outweighed that yeah definitely so we sat down we looked and we decided that we were going to see how many points we needed mm -hmm. and we came up with the fact that we want to go every three years for 21 nights minimum yeah and we it don't ask for much <laughs> and it we worked it out we would need 100 points yeah and that would allow us to see certain not all the results but some results um so the 100 points so you get your 100 points every year depending on your use year so ours go into this pot every august and 100 points goes in we then bank 100 points for 2020 so in august we'll have we'll have 100 points going in in 2021 we will use the 100 points that have been allocated in 2021 and we will use the 100 points that we've saved but what we can also do with the disney vacation club is we can borrow from our next use year so for 2022's points we then put those into 2021 so that gives us 300 points so we knew that we'd be able to go in choice season, which is around Halloween, sort yeah. of end of October, for 21 nights minimum. Um, <clears throat> and stay in a nice resort. So that's, that's basically what we started looking for was August, August, the huge year they call it. Yeah. August huge year, 100 points at a reasonably priced resort. Again, they're all nice resorts, but just a better priced one for us. So we're looking at one that was in our budget. One yeah, that... so you're looking at things like Animal Kingdom, Old Key West, Saratoga. Um, any others pop in there? No, I think that was it. Yeah, that was mainly it. Boardwalk really. was sort Boardwalk of on the borderline of going yeah. sort of that way towards the Polynesian yeah, in that area, but that was borderline. Yeah. Um, and we had to wait and see what came up. Yeah, it's a waiting game because you don't really know kind of what's going to happen. Is is anyone actually going to sell their points for yeah. what you want? It is just lottery, really. Like who's going to sell what? Who doesn't want it anymore? You know, who mm. wouldn't want it? Um, so we waited probably about a week, didn't we? Yeah. And one popped up, and it was a hundred points. Use year was August. August, and it was at Saratoga Springs, and that was where we first learnt about DVC. And we knew when we went there that it was absolutely stunning. And we did a little bit yeah. of research of what Sarat Saratoga Springs would bring to our family and our, as it would be our home resort. Mm -hmm. And we thought, this is right. This is, everything's coming together and it's aligning and we're doing it. Yeah, I mean, it was a resort we didn't know too much about, but, you know, it was right next to Disney Springs. Everything there was being refurbished at the time as well. So it's going to be a brand new refurbished resort. So we thought, hey, you know what, let's, let's do it. Mm. Why not? Like... Actually, you know, we didn't jump in right away. First of all, we said, okay, let's price it up and see what happens. That was more of the thing, wasn't it? Yeah. Because after that, I did some more calculations, and I did. Yeah, I, I got my 
my Excel nerdiness out. And I did some comparisons. So I looked at how much a holiday would cost, as I've already shown you. Um, if you wanted to stay in a, uh, a, a Disney resort as we did before, um, going up the years. I then looked at, okay, if you put out your, for example, 10 grand outlay for a DVC, how much would the extras cost you every single year? So flights, park tickets, dining yeah. plans, things that aren't normally included in your package deal and see how that went up um, over the years. And the difference was actually quite staggering. So when you compare the two, if you looked at the high end and the low end, so if the rate of inflation kept going up in some exponential curve compared to it just pootling along like 2.4%, you'd save anywhere between, I think it was 58,000 to 140,000. That was a, a wide curve, but if you looked at the middle, it was about 100,000 pounds. And this was over 34 years, because our contract length would have been 34 years with this contract. Yeah. And... So if you are going to stay in a, DV, in a DVC resort, in a Disney resort for the, for 34 years, every three years. Like we wanted to do. Like we wanted to do. That's a hell of a saving. That's a ridiculous amount, isn't it? Yeah. That's something else. That so sold it to us then, didn't it? That kind of sold it to us, yeah. My calculations kind of did that. Yeah, so going on to now really talking in depth about resale. So the difference between resale contracts yep. and buying direct are the price per point yes the benefits which you do and don't get so if you are in the uk we felt that we didn't need these benefits that no. we would miss out on so if you buy resale you do not get access to the lounge at epcot but you do get access to top of the world at bay lake tower mm -hmm. um you cannot move around to new resorts. So if you wanted to use your points for a brand new resort like Riviera, you can't use your points for those, but you can use them for all of the other hotels um, mm -hmm. on property in Orlando. So Grand Floridian, Polynesian. Yep. All um, of them, all the gems. Yeah, every, yeah, every one of them. Copper Creek, Animal yeah, Kingdom. True. Yeah, so you, you can use them, you just can't use them going forward. But there is another hack that I've got to that, which I can talk about in another video. The other thing that you don't get is you don't get offered any tickets for any of the after parties. So like the Moonlight Magic parties. We looked at this and thought, oh, okay, well maybe that's one thing that would push us towards buying direct. But actually, when you look at it across the board... How many times are we going to be in Florida, in Orlando, at the time that these events are happening? You could probably say, let's play devil's advocate, that it was happening maybe once yeah. every nine years that you got to go. Yeah, it just, well, so it just, it just, it just didn't, didn't seem like a benefit to us. No, like, it just, if you live in Florida, for example, oh, yeah, and you live nearby, then yeah, great, do it, brilliant. why not? Yeah. But for us, but for us it, it literally in the UK, I really don't see that as a as a plus point for buying direct yeah. and it being really expensive. Um, and really, that is it, isn't it? That is the That's only you, yeah. the only downside. You don't get access to the cruises. You don't get access to the um, oh, so the adventures by Disney. Adventures by Disney. Yeah. So those are the things you don't get. But what you do get is a huge saving, and. Yeah, and all Disney. that money you do save, if you want to do an Adventures by Disney on a cruise, I'm pretty sure you could do that, but... Yeah, or you could rent your points out and go and do something else, but that's... That's another story. That's another story. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I think, yeah, cost of points was quite a big thing, wasn't it? Yeah. So, price per point, uh, the current market today, which is the 2nd of May, if you are buying direct with Disney, it's $193 per point. And yep. you do need to purchase 100 points minimum to get the benefits that we talked about that you don't get with resale. Mm -hmm. So already you're looking at $19,300. Yeah, completely for what we were looking for. Yeah, for what we wanted, your, your initial outlay direct. Don't yep. get me wrong, it's got a longer longevity of the contract, hasn't it? You're like your contracts are like sixty years. Yeah. Um. But we bought resale with Saratoga Springs with thirty four years left on the contract. Thirty four years on the contract, yeah. Thirty four years left on the contract, and 
so with resale you go online you look up the company i mean we could link the company we use down below couldn't we because they were really good they were really good yeah um, we'll do that yeah we'll do that um so we looked the 100 points contract was there but they did want i think it was 109 dollars per point wasn't it was it, it was more than that i was thought it, like 112 wasn't it it was more maybe than that. yeah a hundred maybe yeah, a, yeah 112 dollars per point so we thought we'd barter with them it's one of them things when you're buying resale it's like buying a house you can do a little bit of bartering to try and get the best for your money um, we also did some research because we could see that the other thing that happens when you buy resale is once you've had an offer accepted by the person that you're buying from disney then get right of first refusal so what that means is once that offer's gone in and been accepted it then gets put on disney's desk and they can choose to either buy, buy the back. contract back or allow the seller to sell it to us. To and we did some research, didn't we, even yeah. into that. Like, what <laughs> were Disney buying back? And what contracts were they buying back in which resorts? And how much were they buying them back for? Yeah. So we put in an offer, we put in a counter offer, didn't we? Was it 105 per point? It was 107. You know, I think it's 106, now you're saying that. We'll go with the middle number. Yeah. So we put in an offer at 106 and it got accepted. Yeah, yeah. Um. So that was really exciting. But at the same time, you can't get your hopes up because you think, right, now now the hard work begins because you've got to sit and wait because you've yeah. got to wait for Disney to make Disney a decision. Disney could say, actually, no, you can't sell it to that person. We'll buy it back instead. And we were right on the cusp. So Disney were buying back contracts the month before and the month before that at around 105 to 107. So we were right on the cusp of it, yeah. weren't we? Yeah, we were. Um, we didn't have a loaded contract, which means we didn't have points coming to us the year we bought so we bought in 2019 and those points were already used so it that was going for us as well wasn't it that we yeah, were, it, yeah. it was a clean contract starting in 2020 yeah so i think normally the waiting period is about it's up to eight weeks for disney to come back to you it's going it can be a while but they come back to us in two weeks yeah and they, they accepted did. they accepted and i cried from the moment I held the email in my hand and saw it, mm -hmm. to actually you pulling the car in, and because we were in Cornwall at the time on holiday, yeah, we were. and I was freaking out. So altogether, our contract cost us. It was in the nine thousands because it was ten thousand eight hundred dollars at the exchange rate. It was nine thousand and something or other, but that money has got us accommodation at a deluxe Disney resort for the next thirty four years. So just to put that in perspective, our youngest, who is 16 months old, by the time that contract runs out, he'll be 30 something or other. 30, 32 and a bit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I was, we might have kids by then. And that's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. So we could have grandkids by then. That's how long this contract's going to last us. So that money has gone a very long way. Yeah. So it's just extras we have to buy, buy for, like park tickets and... And our dues each year. And Jews, yeah, Jews are another thing. Um, and I think you need to really consider that as well. Yeah. When you're buying direct as well, people don't really factor in that um, that cost, yeah, do they? Yeah, especially direct, yeah, that's a lot on top, isn't it? Yeah, so because we're at Saratoga Springs, our, our Jews are like our maintenance plan then, so what we give yeah. to have our contract that keeps all the amenities going within the park, within the resort, sorry. Mm -hmm. um, so ours this year, so we paid it in January, it, with the exchange rate it was like 480 quid um mm -hmm. so we, we we i think we paid like five dollars a point or something like it's, it's something like that yeah, yeah it's, it's not, not that much it's not a massive amount no but depending on what resort you're in will depend on how much you're paying so that is one thing to take into consideration even when you're buying resale you still have to pay that those dues every year if you're paying that every single year that's something really easy you can save up every month it's not a massive yeah. amount of money if you're looking at it per annum is it so so now we've got this amazing gift, mm -hmm. um, a Disney Vacation Club. We actually own a small piece of Disney. It's the tiniest, very, very tiny it's piece. the tiniest piece, 0, 0.0. For, for 34 years. <laughs> um, it's probably a tiny little square of yeah, it's not floor much. somewhere. Um, so now that we've got our Disney Vacation Club, yeah. we don't have different bands. We don't, we, we don't look different to anyone that's bought direct. We literally, go in and we get treated exactly the same as somebody that's direct, apart from we can't go into the Epcot lounge. 
Now we know some of you out there may be thinking that still seems like a lot of money and you know what it probably is it is a lot of money um, but as we said personally for us like we love those Disney resorts we love going into those places and we love feeling at home and feeling secure and safe and we know the transport is just there we can get any food at any time from our resort we can get to anywhere from our resort we can hop in an uber if we need to we can get transfers to and from the airport um, at no extra cost you know what it's just so convenient and so good especially with kids like it helps us a lot but we do understand that it is quite expensive so there may be people people out there who are looking thinking damn that is a lot of money and you know what yeah, each to their right. own. Yeah, yeah, each to their own. We st as we said, we we stayed in villas before. We stayed in hotels on iDrive. We know how convenient they can be as well. We and if know... you like that, like the balance of Disney and staying off site yeah. and going to some of the restaurants off site, you may prefer that. You know, and and don't that. get me we'll wrong, get I really enjoyed that. Yeah, but I then it too. when I got into a moderate resort, that was the end of that. It just changed a bit, didn't <laughs> it? It did. But yeah, people so, like that freedom. People like villas. You know, yeah. people like the freedom, and, and you can get those holidays really, really cheap. You can. And we hope that you've come here to listen to what we've got to say because you're looking at buying direct or you're looking at buying resale. And we just wanted to yeah. give you an honest opinion and a bit of our background of why we've done it. And for us, it's really special to think that we have a home to go to every time we go to Disney. Yeah. In Florida, like it, it's really special to us. Considering how magical it's been staying at those resorts in the past, mm. and then we get to go back and do that for the next 34 years is pretty nuts. Really special, isn't it? Yeah. It's really nice. So yeah, we, um, we're really happy with so that. So if you have got reservations or you've got any questions that you want us to answer, I mean, we will expand on this vlog because I think there'll be a lot of there'll stuff. There'll be a that lot could, of questions. Maybe we could do a live on our Facebook page, yeah. um, the Finlay Adventure page, because we can't on Insta uh, YouTube at the moment. But if we yeah. if we did that, we could do we if people have questions, we could do a live. Or we can just do another video. Yeah, put your comments. Together. If you put your comments below or questions below, we could literally compile them and do another yeah, video. Because I mean, we do as new DVC members as well. We still had loads and loads of questions, and as the time was going by, we still there's still a lot of things that we still didn't know. Um, use year, use year stuff. It's, 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 it's borrowing and when can yeah. I borrow? When can't I borrow? Th things can be quite complicated. So I mean, if you do have a struggle, then and you, you watch this and you're still not too sure, which I'm, I'm sure you will be in that situation. Just pop a comment below, and we'll do our best to answer it. Um, yeah, and, and possibly another video or, or yeah, a I mean, direct message. You know, we don't mind too much at all. Yeah, we just want to help people, don't we? And and I yeah. think get the message out that there is another way. It doesn't have to be direct. Yep. You don't, you, and it could be within your budget. And if you look at it like this, we were going to spend twelve thousand pounds on one trip to Florida. Correct. We're now going to be spending uh, our initial outlay of ten thousand pounds, but that gives us thirty-four years. That's right. Yeah. Along with our dues and everything else, we've got to pay, of course, and we take that into consideration. But actually, it's a small price to pay for actually what you're getting. And we know for a fact we'll be going back to Disney time and time again. And we know for a fact that Disney's going to keep on hiking them prices yeah. up. Like, we're not stupid. <laughs> we've seen how the prices have gone up. Even like since I was a kid and went in 97, 99, the prices seem to go up every single year and they're staircasing all the time. Like, you just do the math yourself. I mean, you can look at my examples. But yeah, do the match yourself and see what happens. So good luck. And if you are deciding to buy resale and you do go ahead and do that, give us a comment and let us know that um, that you're doing that because it would just be fantastic to know um, what's going on out there at the moment. So just to reiterate, any questions you've got, any comments you want to make, whack them in the comments below and we'll do our best to compile them and make a video or um, something in the future. So yeah, but thanks for... Just stopping by, checking out the video and hearing what we've got to say really. We hope it helped. And if you are new to our channel and you want to subscribe, there will be a subscribe button below. And if you click the notification bell, if we are going to get comments and we're going to create more videos, that notification bell does need to be on so we can let you know that we are producing those videos. Thanks for watching. Thank you. See you soon. Bye. Bye.